Hello everyone. So I welcome you once again in my lecture. So in today's lecture, we are going to talk about divide and conquer technique. We already know that there are different techniques of problem solving like branch and bound, dynamic programming, brute force, divide and conquer, greedy methods. So today we will focus that what is divide and conquer and how we can solve the problems using divide and conquer approach. Okay, so let's start. So divide and conquer approach is basically suitable for larger problems. We assume that the larger problems can be solved easily if we uh, divide the problem into small instances. So whenever we have a problem of larger size, we divide into uh, smaller instances or a, a smaller size problem. So when we talk about divide and conquer, basically we are doing three steps. We are dividing the problem into a smaller instances of, or, or you can say a smaller size problems and then we solve these smaller problems and then we combine all these solutions because actually we are looking for a solution for a larger problem so you divide the problem into smaller size and then solve these problems individually and then combine all the solutions to get a solution for our actual problem so the normal strategy of divide and conquer is we have a problem of larger size let's say this this is our uh, large size problem and then we are dividing the problem into two parts so some strategy says that we divide the problem exactly into two equal parts and then each sub problem can be keep on divided means this is our larger problem then we have divided into two small problems and then we now this becomes individual problem new problem for us and then again we keep on dividing into smaller parts this also we divided into smaller parts and so on and we keep on doing this process until we find a size which can be easily solved now example of this approach is like binary search is also a kind of divide and conquer we have a big volume of data and we are looking for any element so we divide the problem into into two parts so it is uh, you can say it's it can fall into this category then we have much sort is there we have a quick shot is there these are very uh, popular algorithms which actually based on divide and conquer now when we talk about the much sort you will find that when we divide this entire big problem it divides exactly into two hubs but when we talk about the quick shot so when you have a uh, when you have a large problem it does not guarantee that when you divide this problem it will be into two halves the key objective is to keep the problem keep on dividing so we have different logics for division and this division is basically defines its running time also so we'll see one by one that how the the entire divide and conquer works with different algorithms so let's first understand what is the the overall approach now let's see how we can apply the divide and conquer to solve a problem so this is a algorithm of solving a problem using this approach let's see so here we are assuming that i is a problem so i is representing a problem here and we are interested to solve this problem so first we find what is the size of this problem so let's say n is the size of the problem we are assuming that n is large size then only we need to apply this divide and conquer that means a problem is very large to solve at one instance so we are dividing it into making into smaller instances so that smaller instances can be solved easily so here you are checking if n is already small size now what is a small size a small size means the size of the problem which can be directly solved which can be easily solved so this size can be anything can be any number depending on the problem now for example when we talk about the merge sort that is based on divide and conquer we keep on dividing the the larger size until we reach to the size 1 means if you have uh, array of size 20 then you uh, then you will make it 10 then you will make it 5 then you make it 2 and then you make it 1 so when you reach to the size 1 at that time that can be solved easily and you will say that you reach to the small size for that problem so if n is already a small size then you can directly solve means there is no need to do the further division and you can get the solution means uh, you can directly solve this problem i and solution will be available to you but if n is large means if n is having a size which is more than the small size 
then you need to divide your problem into sub problems so let's say we have a problem i which is divided into k small uh, instances we are calling it i1 i2 up to ik and now these instances are of size small size means these instances can be individually solved now so our objective is first to divide i into smaller size problems and then we have to solve each sub problem so for each i in this set we are solving individually so we have we have a larger problem we divide into sub problems we solve these sub problems but is this a solution no now we have to combine all these sub a solution that we have achieved so the final solution is just a combination of all the solution that we have achieved here and then we have to return this solution that we have find out here and this is the approach of divide and conquer so divide and conquer we will see in the in the next lecture that how it can be applied in the merge sort and how it can be applied in the quick sort we will see more about divide and conquer in the next video bye for now thank you